Good evening, scholars and friends. It's time for tonight's bedtime story. Tonight, I will be reading Disney Pixar's Finding Nemo by R.H. Disney and Scott Tilley. Now, most of you who are reading this book probably live above the sea, but others live underwater. Nemo and his father, Marlin, lived underwater. They were clownfish. Because they were clownfish, they were small, but other fish were big. Marlin was scared of the big fish, so he always kept Nemo close to him, tucked safely inside their little home. But today was Nemo's first day of school. He was very excited. On the way there, he saw a spotted fish and a striped fish. He saw angry fish and happy fish. Mr. Ray, the science teacher, took Nemo's class on a field trip. Nemo and his friends sneaked away and swam to the really deep water. Marlin chased after Nemo and scolded him. Nemo was angry that his father had embarrassed him in front of his new friends. So he swam and swam and swam way up to the surface of the ocean until he touched a boat. Looking for help, Marlin swam into all sorts of fish. They pushed him and shoved him. They bumped into him. Soon Marlin was knocked aside. One friendly fish named Dory swam down to see if Marlin was okay. She was a little bit silly and she couldn't remember very much, but she was happy to help Marlin. Then Nemo got caught. Daddy, cried Nemo. Nemo, cried Marlin. Nemo was taken away in the boat. Marlin tried to save his son, but the boat sped away so fast, it soon disappeared. Nemo was gone, but Marlin would not give up. The only thing on his mind now was finding Nemo. Together, Dory and Marlin met a shark. Marlin was scared, but Dory thought it was very nice of the shark to invite them to a party. The party was for sharks who were trying not to eat fish. Luckily, they did not eat Marlin and Dory. Next, Marlin and Dory met some moonfish. The moonfish made funny shapes. They pointed toward 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Some friendly turtles gave Marlin and Dory a ride. Marlin told the story of the search for Nemo and the news spread across the ocean. Even Nemo heard about it at 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. He was very excited. He wanted to escape from the fish tank where he was trapped. Nemo's new friends were excited too. The little clownfish was bursting with pride. He had the bravest dad in the sea. Marlin kept searching for Nemo. He and Dory found a scuba mask that belonged to a diver who had taken Nemo. They swam down into a very deep, dark place to get it. Then they saw a light. The light was attached to a mean angler fish, but it helped Dory read an address written on the mask. Then the two friends swam away before the angler fish could eat them. 
Now Marlon knew where to find Nemo. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Dory was so excited that he repeated the address over and over and over. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Then a whale swallowed Marlin and Dory. Dory told Marlin he didn't need to worry, and she was right. The whale took them as close as he could get to 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. In fact, he took them all the way to Sydney Harbor. At last, a pelican named Nigel helped Marlin and Dory go straight to 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. But it was too late. A little girl had grabbed Nemo. Marlon couldn't save him. Marlon was sad. He thought he would never see his son again. But Nemo had escaped. Dory found him. Father and son were overjoyed. And when they finally returned home, both Nemo and Marlin were heroes. The end. Good night.